In the previous video, you created a new project and new user. Let's start off by importing the various different media that you can bring into Autodesk Smoke via the Media Hub. You can access the Media Hub through the File menu by selecting Import, or by right-clicking on the Media Library, or by clicking on the Media Hub tab at the bottom of the screen. The Media Hub is essentially divided up into two sections. On the left is the Media Library, that is Smoke's database containing all of your source media and sequences. On the right is the File Browser, where you can access all the locations available to your system. This could include local storage, networking connections, or shared networks. To locate media, simply double-click on a device to start navigating through the folders, and the file path is displayed at the top of the file browser. To the right of the screen, you can click the pull-down menu and add the file path as a bookmark, letting you quickly jump back to your favourite location. The Media Hub will show your media as clips before you have imported them into the Media Library. Supported streaming media formats as well as image sequences are displayed as singular clips. By clicking and dragging on the timecode, you can scrub the frames of a clip. You can also double-click on any clip to bring up the preview window, which contains playback controls as well as clip information and metadata. The Clip Info tab tells you about the generic details of the source, such as its resolution, format and timecode. The Metadata tab gives you much more specific information relative to the format. For example, you would be able to see all the metadata from the footage shot with a RED or ARRI camera. If you need to adjust the metadata settings for any format, you would choose the Format Specific Options tab and you can adjust the various metadata settings for the selected clip. A final word on metadata Set your settings prior to importing. Before you import any media, you have to decide if you will let Smoke manage your media. You can opt into importing the file in its native format and keeping it where it is, or have Smoke transcode the footage into the intermediate format that you selected when you set up your project. This transcoded footage is copied into the Smoke Managed Media folder that you selected when installing Smoke. Switch to the General tab and under Clip Options you will see that Create Project Media is turned off. When this function is disabled, you can import footage into Smoke and work directly with the native source. If Create Project Media is enabled when you import media, Smoke will background transcode the footage into the intermediate format. In this case, the project is set to use ProRes as the intermediate format. You should be able to start working straight away with the native sources, and Smoke will automatically swap in the intermediates as they are transcoded in the background. If you wish, you can monitor the background transcoding via the Jobs tab. I'll turn off Create Project Media so that I will be able to work with the native sources. To import any media into the Media Library, you can select the clips and press the Import button, or simply drag the clips from the browser to the Media Library window. Dragging the clips to the top of the Media Library will create a new folder for your media. Or you can drag to an existing folder and place the media inside. You can also import an entire folder, including subfolders and the media they contain. One final tip, you can import files by dragging and dropping them through the Mac Finder into the Media Library. Next up, dealing with media that contains alpha channels, as well as how to deal with Photoshop files in the Media Hub.